Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurasa here. Come at you guys with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. We got some lost our promotions leaked, and this is really awesome because me and a lot of other people were not satisfied with the lost our promos of 2021 because we got one rerun, which I know is highly controversial, being Dark Magician Girl, and the rest were kind of mediocre to nobody really liked them, including myself. So it's really awesome to see some new lost arts. If you guys like these types of news videos, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. We're almost at 1600 subscribers. We're like 8 9 off. So if you're not subscribed, hopefully today's day I earn your sub subscription. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please see my fill link down in the description below. Consider being a YouTube channel member. And now, with all that boring stuff out of the way, we're actually going to get right into this. So, the first one we have here is Elemental Hero Burstinatrix. And honestly, I've been waiting for this for a long time because I always knew she was censored. And the only thing I always didn't like about this artwork, besides the titties here being censored, is kind of like how her leg is over here. It feels like she doesn't have like. A left leg. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but that's like the one thing I always kind of hated about this card. But it's really nice that we're getting this because number one, waifu sell. Number two, this has been a lost art contender for ever since we got our first lost art. People thought, oh, we're gonna get Bersinatrix. Oh, we're gonna get Dark Magician Girl with titties. Oh, we're gonna get this. This was like the second waifu s card that I kept seeing people talk about. So it's glad that they're finally releasing a lost art about this. I actually think this is gonna become very, very valuable because heroes have a huge market. And I think this is something that you might want to line up day one and try to get. Uh, I If this is below like eight to ten dollars sealed i'm gonna call the yu-gi-oh community out on it because this should easily be hold over ten dollars for its entirety of its life point lifetime now i don't think it's gonna be as crazy as dark magician girl but it's gonna be pretty insane and honestly a nice clean ultra of this is gonna be really really awesome so i'm glad to actually see something like this along with i kind of just like the curve here it just looks cool uh, the second Lost Art we have here is Storming Wind. Now, if you guys watched my last video on Lost Arts, which was quite a long time ago, uh, we got two of these Charmers, and Konami knows Charmers sell. We got a Structure Deck, and they kind of milked it to the point where a lot of players were very disappointed. I think they got off with the Structure Decks because the reprints were quite well, including a common Dark Ruler No More, which was a fantastic, much-requested and needed reprint. But with cards like this, especially the Wind one, which is in my opinion and what i tend to notice is the least popular this is just another charmer that yeah people are going to kind of want it but if they spend 30 dollars, they'd rather get two ots packs and that's kind of the issue so you're going to see this at a couple dollars because the market's not going to have too many of these because people would rather get ots packs than these uh so there's not as much on the market it's worth a couple dollars but in reality people kind of don't want the card and that's kind of where i see this sitting if you want it you could buy spend like four or five dollars Oh, and remember, for Lost Arts, especially like this, wait a couple weeks if you're going to have to buy these singles online because they're going to be way cheaper. You should never be spending more than $5 on this card. This is kind of something I'm not really psyched about. I mean, we're probably going to get the Earth one and the other two, and then it's like, oh, great. We've wasted six Lost Arts, AK, roughly a year's worth of Lost Arts on all of these. Fantastic. Where's my Maggie Maggie Magician Girl Konami? That's what I want to know. Uh, also, if you guys are wondering why I'm being a little more quiet, it's actually quite late that we got this news, but I try to get the news hot. And then the last Lost Art, and I'll be honest with you here, I, this, this makes no sense, is Enchanting Fitting Room. Now, this was actually printed in Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2 recently as a holographic. Uh, I don't really know why we're getting this in holographic quite often this year. Uh, what is the centered part? To be honest with you, I don't know, maybe it's the little butt, maybe it's what they're holding. I think it's one of those two things. But let me know in the comment section below what exactly the sensor is for this. Uh, just so I know, I think it's either I, it's what he's holding or she or whatever. Uh, the monk, I think it's a monkey in this anyway. Uh, or it's maybe like the butt. Again, I don't really know. But we got three Lost Arts Exchange. And what I want to know in the comment section below is what do you guys think of these Lost Arts? And are you picking up any? Personally, I feel like this is going to be a 50 cent lost art to a dollar. Like, I really think this is going to fall on its ass super hard. And when it does, if you want to just get like twat, like, t like a couple and just like throw them away for like years, you could go for it. But like, I don't even know. Like, this is just a really, this is probably their worst pick. Like, at least Vampire Vamp, you know, people like vampires. Oh, it looks kind of cool. At least it's, you know, t titty. Uh, you know, with the Charmers, there are people who like them. Like, it's cute, I guess. This is like... 
what are we going to do with this? So I'm really excited for one of them personally, uh, which is the Elemental Hero Persinatrix. Hopefully our other three Lost Stars. Now I know they're going to give us the Earth one, all right? Uh, and don't. And by the way, this isn't some like big plane 200 IQ play. They're probably going to give us the Earth and the Wind, and then they're going to release the Light and the Dark here. So we have two more promos for Lost Arts that we're probably going to get eventually. I want to know that in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next Market Watch. Peace.